window, 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 shelf, 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 storage, storage, storage. This is a rolling fort. It's a camp house. It's a bunk house. It's a lodge. My mind is going crazy with all the options for this thing. <music> I'm here at the Hershey RV show and we're showing off the Passport 3401 QD. This is so loaded with features. Here's just a few of them here. I love these pass-through storage containers. You can put so much in there. It's easy to load it and it's easy to retrieve it. They've got tankless hot water systems and the exterior convenience center. That's that. All the plugins are all in one place on the other side. When you get to where you're going and you want to stabilize this, it's an electric stabilizing system with lights on it. So when you get there at dark, they light up and you can see where the thing is going down. Speakers, electric awnings, so many features in these Passport ultralight models. Check them out at KeystoneRV.com. I am in love. This is a rolling bunkhouse. Check out the size of this double deck quad bunkhouse back here. These are nice, deep, wide beds. They've got their own windows up top here. Plenty of windows going around this unit. The air conditioning system here is ducted, so it's blowing all over. It's got a fan system in here that directs the airflow into different places. Window, 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 window. Another fun thing here, every single bunk in this unit has their own closet. So, shelf, 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 a bar for hanging clothes. Again, down here, stable shelves um, on the bottom, adjustable shelves up top, the television here, more window space here, tons of drawers and storage going down here. If you had little kids, let's say you're a grandma and a grandpa and you were blessed with loads of little ones, these could sleep two little kids each. You could pack this with eight or more little kids back here. Four adults easily back here. My mind is blown just thinking about how much fun this would be on a girl camper trip. A lot of times when you look at a unit, you can go, this is 39 feet long, when you get to 39 feet, you're in 10, 11, 12,000 pounds. We're at 39 feet here and under 8,000 pounds. So this is an awful lot of RV and an awful light uh, weight. So here we are, and we're in the living space of the 3401 QD Passport Ultralight by Keystone. This is where life happens. Look, when we're camping, yes, we're spending a lot of time outside. But when it gets dark and everybody piles back in, if the weather is inclement and everybody's in this space or in the morning when everybody gets up and is scrambling for breakfast, this is where you're gonna be. One of the things that is a great feature about this is it's dual entrance. So here we are in the middle of our coach here is where we have the bathroom. So it's a three piece bathroom, nice storage in the countertop here. We've got two drawers, two cabinet doors, and a medicine cabinet, but love this, that there is an outside entrance. So one of those days, the kids are all outside playing, you get to close this door, and the kids can come in and out and use this potty without opening and closing the camper door. So here we are in the living space, storage, storage, storage. There is so much storage in here. One of the things that is so nice is having these shelves adjustable. So you've got taller things, you can adjust the height of these, you can lower them. You can use this for whatever you want. This could be your linen closet, this could be food, this could be, maybe you travel with your air fryer and you need a big place to put it. More storage here. Anything that you want can go in there. It's plenty of space there. One of the things that I always appreciate in an RV is when the manufacturer goes to the trouble to put the under storage beneath the booth on roller wheels. This is so easy to access. 
you're looking down on top of everything, you can see what it is you're looking for, you can compartmentalize this with storage containers and then just close that whole thing up. So I love this nice booth. It would easily sit six people comfortably. If you got small people or kids, you could squeeze eight people in here. These large windows let in so much light. I love this feature in the Keystone shades. The shades are so darkening. So if you want to sleep in, you got a great sight. It's super sunny, but look how quietly those roll up. Over here in this um, kitchen is something that Keystone is doing now. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. So it is running on the solar panel. So when you're driving, this is cold. It is, you don't have to worry about whether or not your propane is on. Every Keystone comes with a solar package that's already installed. The difference here is when a camper says solar ready, you're purchasing an RV with a science project attached to it. Now you've got to figure out how many panels do I need? How do I hook it up? What kind of battery should I get? This has all been done for you. This is running on 12 volt while you're driving. So the solar panels are charging. Your refrigerator is cold when you get there. And when you plug this in at the campground, then the campground electric continues charging the battery. So we've got a nice little three burner stove here. This flips open and goes like this. This becomes the protector for when you have a frying pan here to keep the heat there. But when you're not using it, it folds down. You can put a cutting board on here and use it for chopping space. But this is a nice amount of counter space here. A big, deep stainless steel farm sink with a sprayer that's nicer than what I have at home. An extra pop-up shelf right here. Let's say you're serving everybody. Kids are coming in, making a plate, going out the back door with it. This is nice space right here. but really nice storage cabinets here. So we've got the pantry that we looked at over here, a cabinet that can easily hold your kitchen garbage can in there. Lots of drawers, two big drawers over here for your silverware and all of your utensils. And my favorite is this big giant drawer underneath the stove. Now that's where you're gonna hold all your cast iron pans and the big cooking utensils that you bring with you when you're camping. So lots of space in that kitchen for storage. Here we are in the master bedroom. I love this up front unit here. We've got windows on both sides so you get the cross ventilation. The ducted air conditioning system is here with the fan that blows it in all kinds of directions. Like most of these, this top bed, this bed pulls up, lots of storage underneath the bed, but we have got three nice cabinets across the top here and extra wide and extra deep storage next to the bed. On either side of the bed, USB ports, plugs, Plenty of space to keep all of your reading books, your nightlight, your CPAP machine, your Kindle charging, whatever it is you have, there's space for it. I love that the reading light is built in here and we've got these doors when the madness is happening in the party house back there and you wanna just get yourself a quiet place to read, guess what? Nice little doors. Bye bye everybody. <laughs> so this RV, <laughs> To me, it feels like camp. It feels like you could create something here in which you've got a rolling camp. You can put four adults, another person there, two more people here. You've got six, eight people here easily. If you wanted to pile in a bunch of kids, you could do it even more. This Ultralight 3401 QD, I say QD, but it's really QT because this is a cutie and I absolutely love it. My mind is going crazy with all the fun things we could do with this at Girl Camper, but what a fun bunkhouse to have at the lake, on a road trip, anywhere you want. This is a cutie.